in the 11th standard. Now we will discuss about redox titration in 12th science. Okay. So here you have to perform two practical of redox titration. Okay. Now what is redox titration? So listen to me carefully, everyone. <coughs> A uh, reduction and oxidation combined process is redox titration. Okay, you all know about reduction and oxidation. So here we will discuss and perform. Okay, about redox titration. In your syllabus, there is two practical lesson. First one is X molar KMnO4 versus. 0.05 molar ferrous ammonium sulfide. Okay, this is your first practical. And second one is X molar KMnO4 solution versus 0.1 molar oxalic acid. Okay, so here is your two practical of redox titration. So your first one is redox titration, and you have to perform two practical. First one is X molar KMnO4 versus ferrous ammonium sulfate, and second one is X molar KMnO4 versus 0.1 molar oxalic acid. Okay. Now listen to me. In first practical, okay, <coughs> uh, X molar solution KMnO4. Okay. So you have to fill up your urine. Listen to me carefully. Fill up your urine. KMnO4 solution into uh, first packing, okay? And you have to take 10 ml as ammonium sulfate into your conical flask through pipette, okay? Now, listen, you have to add in first practical dilute sulfuric acid 25 to 30 ml uh, through your taste tube. Okay, into your conical flask. First, you have to take 10 ml ferrous ammonium sulfate solution through pipette into your conical flask. Then you have to add <coughs> dilute sulfuric acid into your conical flask. 25 to 30 ml. Okay. Then you have to rinse your bread with KMnO4 solution. Then fill up your bread. And listen to me, you have to take upper meniscus in case of colored uh, solution. You all know, uh, in case of colorless solution, you have to take lower meniscus. You all know about this. Clear? And in case of colored solution, you have to take upper meniscus. KMnO4 is a colored solution, so you have to take upper meniscus into your urine. You have to set upper meniscus. Clear? Now, listen, your first practical is ready. So, we will discuss here about first practical. Now, friends, look here. Here is your KMnO4 solution. Okay? KMnO4 solution, purple solution. Solution is purple. Okay? Next one is your ferrous ammonium sulfate solution colorless solution ferrous ammonium sulfate and third one is dilute sulfuric acid solution so here is three solution now first of all you have to fill up your burette with KMnO4 solution okay colored solution of KMnO4 potassium permanganate solution so everyone observe here here is your KMnO4 So fill up your solution with KMnO4 Ok Now listen I told you You have to set upper meniscus So here is your upper meniscus First set your jet Here set your jet Okay, yes. Now set upper meniscus here. So everyone look here. Zero meniscus, but upper meniscus, not a lower meniscus. Okay, yes. Now observe here. 
हियर इज योर अपर मैनिस्कस के एम एनओ फोर सोल्यूशन अपर मैनिस्कस यू हैव टू सेट क्लियर ओके नाउ योर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज फेरस एमोनियम सल्फेट यू हैव टू टेक टेन एम एल फेरस एमोनियम सल्फेट फ्यू योर पीपैड हियर इज योर टेन एम एल पीपैड क्लियर सो यू हैव टू टेक फेरस एमोनियम सल्फेट Okay, and sat here. You all know about scale here, so everyone sat. And in this case, okay, you have to choose lower meniscus for ferrous ammonium sulfate. You have to choose lower meniscus. So I am setting here lower meniscus ferrous ammonium sulfate. Okay. Now I am taking ferrous ammonium sulfate solution into my conical flask. Clear? Ah, here is your ferrous ammonium sulfate solution into your conical flask. Okay. Yes. Now next step, you have to add. dilute sulfuric acid solution so here is your dilute sulfuric acid solution and you have to take two test tube of one and a half or two test tube is enough so one into your conical flask and half more one and half test tube is enough clear so here is your ferrous ammonium sulfate solution plus dilute sulfuric acid solution clear so stir your solution first thoda sa isko stir kar okay yes now start your titration listen to me carefully everyone perform your titration with drop wise ओके यू हैव टू एड योर के एम एन ओ फोर सोल्यूशन ड्रॉप वाइज इट इज नेसेसरी क्लियर लिसन नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट टाइट्रेशन हियर सो यू हैव टू एड ड्रॉप वाइज टाइट्रेशन ओके यू हैव टू डू ड्रॉप वाइज टाइट्रेशन now your color change is colorless to light pink so everyone take care and do your titration drop wise okay yes now listen your color is change okay color less to light pink your color less to light pink you can add one more because it is very light so you can add one drop only not more one drop only yes so this is your permanent pink color okay you can see here Uh, your reading is i think 9 to 9.5 in between here is your reading 9.2 9.2 something clear so here is your reading 9 to 9.5 in between in your ferrous ammonium sulfate titration is it clear all of you so here we have completed our first titration kmno4 versus ferrous ammonium sulfate now we will discuss about calculation clear okay now listen 
first of all here is your aim to determine the concentration of a given kmno4 solution by titrating it against 0.05 molar ferrous ammonium sulfate solution so this is your aim okay now in conical flask we have to take 0.05 molar ferrous ammonium sulfate solution into our conical flask okay next step is burette we fill up our burette with x molar kmno4 solution clear third one is indicator so first titration kmno4 is a self indicator so next one is color change color less to light pink clear here is your chemical reaction ionic reaction and net reaction clear ionic reaction mno4 minus plus 8h plus plus 5 electron it gives mn plus 2 plus 4h2o plus 5fe plus 3 net reaction 2k mno4 plus 8h2so4 plus 10fe2so4 nh4 twice so4 it gives K2SO4 plus 2MnSO4 plus 5 Fe2SO4 plus 10NH4 twice SO4 plus 8H2O. So here is your ionic reaction and net reaction. Okay. Now here is your observation table. You have to take three readings and you have to prepare observation table. You all know. observation table here is your final reading okay final reading means your burette reading second one initial reading initial reading your 00 okay 00 reading is your initial reading you have to set the burette with a zero meniscus or zero scale so here initial reading is 00 and last one difference okay After three reading, you have to take three reading. After reading, you have to uh, take concurrent reading. And here is last your calculation. A one, M one, V one is equal to A two, M two, V two. It is your formula. A one, M one, V one is equal to A two, M two, V two. Now in A one, M one, V one, ferrous ammonium sulfate. Clear? And in part A two M two B two means KMnO four solution. Okay. Now A one. So here electron difference of ferrous ammonium sulfate is one. A one. Molarity of ferrous ammonium sulfate. Molarity of ferrous ammonium sulfate here zero point five molar ferrous ammonium sulfate. So here is molarity of Ammonium sulfate is zero point zero five. Clear and ferrous ammonium sulfate. You have to take ten ml solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate. So here V one volume of ferrous ammonium sulfate is ten. Clear. Now second A two M two V two. So A two is five. K M N O four electron difference is five. Okay. Then. Molarity of KMnO4. So here X, we have to find out uh, molarity of KMnO4. That's why here is your X. Okay. And last one V2. Volume of KMnO4. It means your burette reading. You have to fill up your KMnO4 solution into your burette. So V2 is your BR. BR means burette reading. Clear. Now here is your simple calculation. Uh, find out figure of x. Okay, so x is equal to one multiplied zero point zero five multiplied ten divided by five divided by your burette reading. So your answer, your answer is nearly zero point zero one molar. Clear? Okay. And you went. Uh, lastly, you have to find out gram per liter. So formula of gram uh, gram per liter is molarity multiplied by molar mass. So here is your molarity is here and multiply by 158 kmno4 solution molecular mass 158. And lastly here is your answer gram per liter. Clear? So this is your 
फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल एक्स मोलर के एम एनओ फोर वर्सिस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मोलर फेरस एमोनियम सल्फेट ओके थैंक यू